Okay, hello and welcome to RetroNet Mobile Videos. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, how to flash your HTC Touch Pro to the latest version of uh, Energy ROM. Uh, here we have it right now. It's running a uh, basic ROM with titanium. You know, kind of boring, not much to it. We're going to flash it to Energy ROM, which has the latest version of Sense UI and. Uh, the original version of Cookie's Home Tag. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do when you're flashing your phone is take out the memory card. I just I don't know if you have to do this or not, but I do it just in case you know stuff gets erased. So just take that out. So then over there, and I'll just leave the back off. And then you're going to want to take your uh, your USB cable and plug that into your phone and your laptop and stuff of that nature your computer plug it in. And this is really hard to do without a free hand there okay once you get it plugged in you want to uh, uh, connect it to active sync so here active sync is connected yada 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 uh, you gotta make sure the battery on your device is above 50% or the installer will refuse to work. Then you want to go to the link down there and uh, download uh, the uh, 21681 build 6 cents 2.5 with co the original cookie because a new cookie is extremely buggy I have found on the Touch Pro. Touch of glass is what I'm going to be doing. There's also GTX, Sensity, uh, the regular, and the titanium build. But I'm going to do touch of glass. Then you simply run the uh, executable Herman software upgrade. And do 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 do. Okay, you know this is for the CDMA Touch Pro. Now oh, you. Yes, I've read the documentation. Next. Uh, got interrupted. Okay, you click next. It tells you all the stuff you've already done. Uh, you want to make sure your computer doesn't go to sleep while you're doing this. Or you're in trouble. You might break your phone. Uh, yes, you've completed the steps. Click next. Click update. Click next again. Click next again. And the screen on your phone will go blank for a few minutes. And then you will be presented with the uh, the security unlock screen here. Oh, yes, that's one thing I forgot. You got to make sure your phone's unlocked. The link for how to unlock your phone will also be down there. Okay. On your computer, you will see this progress bar here. Uh, you you cannot unplug your phone while it's doing this, or it'll break itself. Uh, it won't take very long, like 10 minutes. There's also a progress bar on your phone, so I'll just come back when that's done. Okay, so here we can see it is almost finished. It's at 99% and 100%. And there it's done. Okay, it'll take a couple minutes. You see it's also reached 100% here on the computer. The screen will go black. The uh, phone will hard uh, soft reset. And it will take bloody ages for this to come back up. Just leave it alone uh, and wait for a while. And eventually, the uh, flash is complete, and you will just set up your phone as normal. Your ROM update is now complete. Your PDA phone is ready to use. Click Finish. Click Finish. Ah, oh, there. And uh, that'll be all done. And then we will take a look at the ROM itself. Okay, so it started loading. You see this screen. Energy ROM. Please wait while it sets up your device. Huzzah! Okay, I've spared you the agony of watching me calibrate the screen. And here it is, booted, launching uh, Sense UI. At this point, 
you can put your memory card in and put the back back on the phone and disconnect it from USB. I'm not going to put my memory card in right now. Very difficult to do. Oh, very difficult to do with one hand. Oh, for heaven's sake. There. And here we have Sense UI. Oh, come on, focus. There. Uh, pretty similar to the standard Sense UI. Uh, Twitter, calendar, stocks, everything like that. You slide down, you get a a bunch of pa panes, I guess you call them, where you can put your shortcuts. Go back up. Start button. Oh, you got the grid with all the, uh... Uh... All the standard stuff that comes in since UI, a ton of tools that you can use. Advanced config is standard. Uh, my phone, Cookies Home Tab Editor, XDAUC, which is really cool. You can save and load all your settings, automatically install all your programs right off the SD card. Um, okay. you want one? Duh. Oh, okay. Now look what I've done. I've gone and pushed something. Um, everything's pretty standard. It's got a nice glossy theme on it. Okay. It looks rather uh, posh. Uh, posh is not the right word, but it looks nice. Uh, and it basically works like a regular, uh, regular phone. You can uh, swipe down, shortcuts, swipe down again, another space for you to put widgets. Another space for you to put widgets, there's four of those. Uh, lock screen, three different uh, settings for that. It's, a, it's fast, it's quite fast on this phone. Uh, as you can see, there's been no lagging whatsoever. It's quick, quick, quick. Start menu. I appear to have launched something again. Why do I keep doing that? I don't know. Oh, that can't be good. Okay, at this point, I'm going to end this video quick because if anything else interrupts me, I'm probably going to scream and smash my uh, phone. Uh, take a look at the lock screen. Lock. Always takes forever. Yep, just the Windows, Windows Mobile lock screen. Unlock it. You go back. Proper home screen. There you go. And uh, yeah, it's just there's Cookies Home Tab Editor. You've got tons of options there. You can customize just about every aspect of this. Quick links. How big do you want them? How many do you want them? Where does it start? lock screen, which lock screen, do you want the lock screen, when does the lock screen go, what shows when you're in the lock screen, you know, all sorts of stuff, what are the default applications for things, how do the appointments and stuff look, random stuff, animations and stuff of that nature, and it's Windows Mobile 6.5.3, so the start menu's down here instead of up here like in a... 6.5 or 6.1 or really any version of Windows Mobile except this and you can edit the uh, layout of each one of these so you can go to there and oh stylus I'll use a stylus for this okay push and hold add new item uh, you go through here let's say I want my music player the large one and let's say that then I don't want this clock I want just the text stop that I don't want this clock I don't want it I want the text clock at the top click done wait for a few centuries and then you can accidentally click on something and freeze up the phone yeah fantastic man I need to be careful when I'm doing these uh, and you can just add widgets, drag them around, drag them to different pages. I, I appear to have exited the uh, editing mode accidentally, because I'm an idiot. 
but when you are back in the editing mode, you can, you know, move around the widgets. Here's one for uh, the songs. You've got your uh, preview there. Move the clock up so you can see all that there. And you can play, pause, next, shuffle, repeat, all that good stuff. Then you can just customize it and make it your own. It's fantastic. Definitely better than the uh, canned Manila 3D that uh, HTC provides you with standard. Because that's rubbish.